well today is friday and it's my lunch hour and there is an estate sale not far from where i work so i am going to go check out an estate sale and i'm going to take you guys along and see what i can do and that looks so awkward with my camera so here we go <music> Walking through this estate sale, um, lots of memorabilia, which was so sweet. And it's interesting just walking through somebody's home and seeing their items. This is the first estate sale that I've went to where it was inside the person's home who was deceased. Um, and it was just different. And I did find like a couple things, um, but I'm not quite sure how I feel about estate sales when it's in the person's home. But that is just my feelings and my own personal feelings on it. Nothing um, putting on anybody else. Um, but it was interesting. Lots of unique items. I really liked that. Um, I don't know. It was like an ice box kind of side table looking thing. Very cute. Um, the bowl. I liked the um, just material it was made out of. This table was sold. Um, but I did actually find a different table. Um, on a Mark Fa Facebook marketplace that fit my space perfectly. Lots of china, and I'm not sure if it was antiques or like uh, newer items, lots of... Um, uh, this table was interesting. Um, I think it was $200, but it was very detailed. So it was just a very interesting piece. I thought it'd be really cute like to put ornaments in or some greenery especially for the holiday season I was looking for colors of books for um, kind of using in the house for decoration so I was looking for the greens and the reds which you just saw I did find some and when I post my decorating videos for Christmas you will see what I did with them lots of um, seasonal decorations to choose from I really liked these trees in the corner and they were priced very reasonably, but I passed and I kind of regretted that. I wish I would have went back and grabbed those. Um, but then I found this tray, which I did end up purchasing. It was $2. I just loved it. It was so nostalgic. Um, I have it in my kitchen, so I can't wait to show you what I did with it. Lots of baskets. All right, so jumping ahead a few days later, I went into Target with my daughter, Ruby. Um, she had to go to the dentist, so we were near a Target. So, of course, we had to have a little mommy-daughter time and get a Starbucks and walk around Target for a little bit and scope out their Christmas decor. I loved that Tis the Season sign. I think I show the price. I think it was $19.99. Um, and I have plenty of like, these countdown, but... It was interesting. If you like the metal kind of look, I think it's like, is it like the 50s kind of style? It just reminds me of that movie, the, A Christmas Story. Kind of reminds me of that kind of um, design. Um, then I've seen these houses in a couple decorating videos. Not my style and a little pricey in my opinion. Um, but they had plenty of them in stock. Uh, but here's that tis the season sign that I had looked at. Did really like that.
Okay, so the price on that ribbon for $19.99 was a little out of hand in my opinion. Like I could buy a lot more rolls of ribbon at Hobby Lobby for that price. I did like these um, Dear Santa letters. I believe they were $6.99, but I did pass. We have plenty of paper. My children can write their Dear Santa letters too. The greenery was um, pretty. I really liked it, but I think it was $14.99 and again, out of my budget. I am definitely this year sticking to the cheaper picks and using, um, you know, kind of just making them my own. So again, I have decorated, um, so I am excited to share that with you and how I styled my house. So I'm definitely on a budget. I have purchased a few things, but I've kept in mind the cost of things and found it on sale. Um, so I'll definitely be sharing that with you. These blankets were so soft. I loved them, but white does not work in my house at all. Like our water just makes them look dingy. So I try to stay away from white. These pillows, I'm into green. I don't know, comment below. What color are you guys into right now? But I'm kind of into this darker, earthy green color for some reason. Um, but I passed. I have plenty of pillows in my life right now. I do not need to add another one. That is for sure. But I do have some on my, you know, Target app in my save for later cart um, that may be in the future. This green throw, oh, if it was on sale, I probably would have picked it up. So soft. I loved that color. I was in love with that green color. Um, definitely on my list. This um, cookies for Santa was really cute. Like it would break in my house. So we will keep with the Dollar Tree plastic cookie plate that we have for Santa for years. Um, I did like this red color on this um, vase jar pitcher pitcher I think the words I'm looking for um that was really pretty the mugs were cute um I did like this new green color they were going for um these ornaments they would have shattered in an instant in my home um the bells were pretty just the prices were a little out of um my comfort zone these mugs though these mugs were $9.99 so you could break those up and they would be amazing teacher gifts just put some chocolate in it maybe a few k-cups or um you know a hot chocolate packet that comes in like a multiple pack put that in the cup and it's a great um budget-friendly gift for the teacher just to show your appreciation or for anyone that you want to show appreciation for in your life but you want to be on a budget um, that candle smelled great. Thank you so much for watching this video. I know it has been a while since I posted, um, uh, but right now I'm just kind of getting back into the hang of, um, filming again and posting videos. Um, so I just want to say thank you so much, um, for subscribing and watching my videos. I appreciate each and every one of you.